Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my baby shoe cutter set to make baby shoe style number two. Throughout this video, I'm going to use Sarashino modeling paste for the baby shoe, and uh, if there is any color paste, uh, I have mixed it with edible food color. Roll out the paste to even thickness and you can see now I am picking three cutters from my cutter set. You will need to cut each shape twice to make left and right side of the shoe. This cutter set is available to purchase on my website www.cchick.com For the consistency of the paste, uh, I'll say make sure your paste is quite uh, firm to hold and it can hold the shape when you're holding it. You don't want to use paste which is too floppy and you will need to use a modeling paste or a sugar paste which is already mixed with CMC or Tylo powder to achieve this um, shoe. Roll out a thin sausage and cut it to 3 to 3.5 centimeters and you will need to cut it twice. Use some edible glue and stick the sausage about 2 to 3 millimeters away from the edge of the shoe. Remember, after you cut the paste, you reverse for the left hand side of the shoe. Same again, put some edible glue at the front of the shoe and the shape I'm picking up now is like an upside down T shape. Uh, make sure the center of the T shape is the center of the front of the base of the shoe. You see in the video now, it, the, the back of the shoe, um, the shape is like a L, letter L. So make sure the, uh, your direction is how I put it on so that the strap is pointing to the correct direction after you put it on.
Remember, on your left hand side, everything is reversed. So this time, uh, you reverse the pace. So make sure your um, back of the shoe, the shape is following the shape I'm showing you in the video now. I'm using a tool here, uh, which is like a half moon shape. Uh, some people use it for um, a smile on a doll face. And if you don't have this tool, you can always cut a straw and then cut it in half. And then you will have this shape to use it uh, on the shoe. I'm using some uh, black food coloring and basically just use a really thin brush and paint the line on follow the indent. Same again, I'm using Sarashino modeling paste, but this time I use the yellow color as the base uh, to make the horn and roll out a ball and then thin it to a cone shape. And then you can use a tool or the back of the knife to indent it with lines on the horn. I'm using my uh, handle and flower mold to make a uh, two little swell pattern for the front of the unicorn. You can purchase my mold on my website. The paste has stick to my hand a little bit, so I have um, put on some corn flour so that the paste um, is less sticky. Use a slightly thicker brush and dust on a, a pink food coloring dust and just blow off all the excess. Use some uh, gold food coloring dust and you can mix it with uh, lemon extract or you can mix it with water or vodka and then paint directly onto the paste. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for new videos and updates. Thank you for watching.